Hi kids! Isang matatag na araw. I'm Sir Noy and welcome to Mat Bilang. In this video, you will learn how to find the perimeter of composite figures composed of triangles and quadrilaterals. But first, let's have a drill. Addition 8 plus 6 14 12 plus 8 20 13 plus 5 It's 18 and 7 plus 9 16 Very good! Let's now have a review. What is a perimeter? A perimeter is the distance around a closed plane figure. And also, it is the sum of both sides. Let's now find the perimeter of composite figures composed of triangles and quadrilaterals. But before that, let's identify what are composite figures. Composite figures, also known as compound shapes. These are shapes that are made up of two or more simple geometric figures, such as triangles, quadrilaterals, or other polygons. These figures are combined or connected to form a more complex shape. For example, this composite figure is made up of rectangle and triangle. Another one, a rectangle connected to square. Let's now have the example on how to find the perimeter of composite figures. This composite figure is made up of rectangle and triangle. By combining the two given figure, now this figure is 5-sided polygon. Since we only have 3 given measurement of sides, let's find the two missing sides. Since the top part is the same measurement as the bottom part, that means the bottom part measures 10 meters. And also, this side of a triangle measures 5 meters Therefore, the other side measures also 5 meters. Now, this figure has all the sides. To find the perimeter of this composite figure, we are going to add all the sides. So P plus 10 meters plus 10 meters plus 6 meters plus 5 meters plus 5 meters gives you 36 meters. So, the perimeter of this composite figure is 36 meters. Let's have another composite figure. This is a six-sided polygon that is made up of rectangle and square. Let's now find the missing measurements of these two sides. This side and this side. Let's get the measurement of this first side. Since this is 10 meters, and the other side is 5 meters, and they have the same measurement, since 5 is already given, that means 10 minus 5 meters gives you 5 meters. Therefore, the measurement of this side is 5 meters. Let's now go to this side. Since the bottom part is 15 meters, and the top part is 5 meters, we will just solve for this side. So, 15 minus 5 gives you 10 meters. So the measurement of this side is 10 meters. Now, all sides are complete. We will add these sides. So the perimeter of this composite figure is 50 meters. Let's have this word problem. Alex is building a play area for his pet rabbit in his backyard. The play area is made up of three connected shapes, a square, a rectangle, and a triangle. 
The square has sides that are each 4 meters long. The rectangle is attached to one side of the square and has a length of 6 meters and a width of 3 meters. The triangle is attached to one of the shorter sides of the rectangle and has three sides of 3 meters, 4 meters, and 5 meters. And this is how it looks like. This composite figure has seven sides. Since this side is a straight line, we will just add 3 meters and 4 meters. This will become 7 meters. So this side is 7 meters, 6 meters, 5 meters, 4 meters, 4 meters, and 4 meters. But, we still have one side that has no measurement. Since the length of this side is 6 meters, we will just deduct this side 4 meters from 6 meters. So 6 minus 4 is 2 meters. That means this side measures 2 meters. Let's now add these sides to get the perimeter of this composite figure. And the sum of these sides is 32 meters. Let's try finding the perimeter of the following figures. There are two sides of this composite figure that have no given measurements. Let's find the measurement of this side. Since 7 and 2 centimeters are the given measurement of these sides, so 7 plus 2 is 9 centimeters. So the measurement of this side is 9 centimeters. The other side. Since 8 cm and 5 cm were given, and this is shorter than 8 cm, that means 8 minus 5 is 3 cm. Let's now add all the sides. And the perimeter of this composite figure is 34 cm. Activity time! Find the perimeter of the following composite figures. Let's now check your work. Number 1. The perimeter of this figure is 33 inches. Number 2. The perimeter of this composite figure is, is 64 feet. The perimeter of this figure is 48 yards. The perimeter of this composite figure is 44 meters. And the perimeter of this composite figure is 32 centimeters. Again! How to find the perimeter of composite figures? To find the perimeter of a composite figure, identify the lengths of all the outer sides. Ensure you only count the outer sides and not any shared or internal sides. Then, add these lengths together to get the total perimeter. Thank you so much for watching! Please subscribe to my channel and like my Facebook page. Happy learning!